Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can download and use Optifine in Minecraft version 1.19.2. Optifine in my opinion is the best mod that you can get for Minecraft as it can help improve your FPS, change your visual settings in game and can also bring support for other mods such as shaders uh, and many others. Because of this, it is my most used mod and I would recommend getting it in every version of Minecraft that you play and that's why I'm going to show you how to do it now. However, before we start the video, if you guys are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit the like button on this video as it would really help me see what type of videos you guys are enjoying from me and it also helps push my videos out to a larger audience, which is very much appreciated. If you're also enjoying the type of content that I'm producing and want to see more videos from me, then make sure to hit the subscribe button on my channel and the bell next to it to be notified whenever I make a new video. Now, to my Minecraft audience watching, I also make League of Legends content and tutorials, so if you play the game and that appeals to you, then make sure to check those videos out after you have watched this video. Uh, I have also done a few Minecraft tutorials on my channel as well, so if you want to watch them, then the same applies. Now. Optifine is a very simple mod to install, but there are a few things that you need to do before you can install it. First of which is to make sure that you have an updated version of Java. Uh, if you do not have an up-to-date version of Java, then not only will your Minecraft client be slower, but Optifine will also not be able to install uh, because it runs on the Java client, so you won't be able to download it. If you are not sure if you have an up-to-date Java, uh, Java version, then follow these steps ahead first. What I do is I open my browser. I use Google Chrome, but you can use anything. And you're just wanting to type in download Java. Now, once you get onto this browser, you're just wanting to click the download underneath the HTTPS www.java.com uh, forward slash download. Do not click anything else below here because it is probably a scam. Uh, just click this one because it'll take you straight over to the download Java file. Now, I already... I already have it installed uh, up to the most up-to-date version because I did it earlier today. However, for the people that don't know how to install it, all you're going to want to do is click the green download Java file. It will show up in your bottom left corner or in your download files or the top right or whatever your browser does. All you're wanting to do is click on it and follow the steps. If you already have Java installed, what it will do is it will ask you to uninstall it and then it will install a more up-to-date version for you. However, it actually does it all for you. Uh, you don't have to do it manually, you just have to follow the steps on the file. Uh, and if you don't have Java installed, then it will just install it for you as normal. So after you have that installed, like I said, it will show up with a file that looks sort of like this. Just run it, follow the steps, and that's how you install it. After you've installed Java, then there is only one more step that you need to do before you install Optifine, and then this is to make sure that you have the latest version of Minecraft downloaded. Now, this may sound confusing, uh, but all you need to do is uh, for this step is basically just to open your Minecraft client, and once you have it opened, you just want to run the latest version once, just click play, uh, or basically whatever version of Minecraft that you are trying to install Optifine on. Uh, you need to make sure that you do the step because if you don't, then your Optifine will not have any file to download the mod into and therefore will not work. Uh, and basically after these two steps, you can go on to download the Optifine mod. Like I said, just find your most updated version or any version that you want to do it on. So just click new installation and say, for example, you want to download it for 1.19 or 1.18, uh, just open up the one of them and run it once. So like I said, now that you have done that, uh, you can go on to install the Optifine. And what I do to do this, once again, you just want to open your browser back up and type in download, no, sorry, Optifine download. And once you do that, click enter and it will take you to a screen that looks like this. Once again, do not click anything else because I know for a fact that some of these are viruses. All you're going to want to do is click the HTTP, uh, HTTPS slash slash optifine.net forward slash download. Do not click anything else, just click this top right uh, top file and it will take you to a screen like this. Now, if you want to hear more about Optifine, uh, then click home and it will show you all of the features that it can do, such as the support for shaders, support for HD textures. It will definitely give you an FPS boost and this is the main reason I do it. Uh, you have a lot higher render distance. Uh, you can have fog control, uh, clear water, clear snow, better grass, uh, and basically lots of other things which I will not go into. 
But basically, all you're going to want to do is go to the downloads, and if I click show all versions, it will show you the versions for whatever you want to download for. I want to download for 1.19.2, so I'm just going to click the top file. Now you can click download, but it will take you to an ad, and then you need to wait five seconds to skip it, or you can just click the mirror, and once you click the mirror, it will take you to this file. Now, from here, all you're going to want to do is click download, uh, and there's a chance that it will take you to an ad instead. Uh, so if it takes you to an ad, just click out of it again and go back and click download. And then what it will do is it will download Optifine in the bottom left corner. And then once it finishes downloading, you will you'll be able to exit out and it will come up with a file like this, Optifine 1.19.2, or basically whatever version you have installed it for. Basically, the only next step to do is drag it onto your desktop and click on it and it will open up a screen that says this. So it will say Optifine HD Ultra H9 for Minecraft and then whatever version it is on. Now all you're going to want to do from here is click install. And after it goes through its system, it will say that it has been installed. There we go, Optifine is successfully installed. Click OK and then you're just going to want to open your Minecraft as normal. And once it starts and finishes loading up, all you're going to want to do is find the version at the bottom. As you can see, mine has automatically been changed to Optifine 1.19.2. Uh, but if it hasn't, then you're just going to want to click on the little arrow and find Optifine. Mine's 1.19.2. And now you're just going to run the game as normal. It's going to tell you you are about to play a Minecraft Java Edition uh, installation that has been modified. We can't guarantee the game will be at the latest player safety features. Um, do not be alarmed by this. This is just basically going to say this with any mod, uh, but Optifine is literally the most trusted mod in the world. So you just click, I understand the risk, do not warn me again about this installation and then click play. And basically that's all you need to do to install Optifine. It is going to load up and I'm going to show you in game if it loads in time uh, before I finish my outro. But that has basically been me. Uh, my computer may not run it without crashing because uh, I have a very, very slow and very, very bad computer. But anyway, that is basically the uh, easiest way to do it. There are a few more ways you can do it, but I always follow this step, uh, this, this way that I've shown in the video because it is the most reliable. And you can do this for any version, like I said. So in the future, if you see this video uh, and it's two or three years old and you do not think that uh, this step will, no, will work, uh, that is not the case. It is always this simple. Uh, so basically that's it. Always follow this video is what I'm basically trying to say. Anyway, guys, that has been me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to see more from me, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I make a new video. And if you want to see more videos like this from me and more Minecraft videos, then make sure to hit the like button as well to be notified basically, so I can see uh, what type of videos you guys are enjoying and I'll know to make more of them. Anyway, guys, that has been me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you later. Goodbye.